Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Recently, I wrote a blog on my website about a Star Wars party that I did for a young lady who was way into interactive play. What she really wanted to do was put on a costume, play a character, then take off the costume, put on another costume, play a character. She wanted photographs taken as those characters. So it was a lot of character play. And we wanted to create something that would be really easy and accessible for all the children at the party. We didn't want to just get certain costumes from online. We wanted something that would be really fun, interactive, and easy. And my sister Frida came up with the most amazing no-sew felt costumes. And they're really super simple. They're built on a smock piece. You see this? And all the different pieces of all the different characters can be cut out of different felt and glued onto these smock pieces to make different characters. So the effect was amazing and the kids had such a great time throwing on the smocks and taking them off and trading it was awesome so what I'm gonna do right now is teach you how to make that basic smock and then on my website www.sophie-world.com you will find all the different templates to make all the different smocks but now I'm gonna teach you how to make that smock so you're gonna need whoever you're making this outfit for, be it a child or be it an adult, you're gonna to wanna to take the measurement of their shoulders. And so I was using a measuring tape for that, just makes it a lot easier. In this case, I've got 13 inches for my shoulder. Then you wanna measure from the shoulder tip to the crotch. And you wanna just go straight down. So from here down to the crotch, and I get 16 inches for that and then you want to measure across the hips and that's 11 inches here. So write these measurements down just so you have them. I'm going to be using a small bowl. This one is five inches across in diameter. This is going to be to make the neckline. I've got my scissors, I've got my ruler, my measuring tape, a sharpie pen, and then some paper. Now, you can use, this is this brown paper that I have um, that comes on a roll, but you can use any kind of paper that is wide enough and long enough. So if you've got wrapping paper, wrapping paper is great. You could use newspaper. You can really use anything that you have. You could even take a paper bag and open it up if you wanted to. But in this case, I'm going to be using this brown paper because it's just the right size. So the first thing you want to do is take a piece of paper and you want to make sure that you have enough so that it is double the length. So in this case, 16 inches here, I wanna make sure that I have 32 inches of paper. And you take that 32 inches of paper and you fold it in half. Give it a nice good crease. And then fold it in half the short direction so that you can get center. All right, so now I've got my center right there. Now with my center, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure the 13 inches, but I want to give myself a little bit extra, so I'm actually going to add an inch on either side to give it a little bit more in the shoulders, and so that's going to become 15. So you add two inches to your number, and that gives us 15. So measuring here, seven and a half inches from the center here, and going to be seven and a half inches on the other side as well. And you mark that on the edges there. Then you would measure down your 16 inches, which this piece is exactly 16 inches. And I want to measure 11 inches across. And again, I want to add that two inches. So it's actually going to become 13 inches. And I mark it. And here. Mark it so that this is 13 and this is 15. Now what I want to do is just take my pen, just extend this down on either side, about an inch on either side. And this is kind of, you're going to do this by eyeball, but what you're basically doing is just swooping this in ever so slightly to meet the bottom like that. Now, because this is exactly the same on both sides, I can fold this in half 
at that crease and with my scissors just cut this out. There we go. And this is giving me my basic shape. Now I'm going to take my bowl here, line it up so that it's right in the middle from here and from here. And I'm just going to trace around. This is going to be for my neckline. And cut that out. Now, you might be looking at this going, well, that's an awfully small neckline for a child's head. Here's the thing, once you get this cut out, you can slit a small slit in the back like this. And you can make this slit however big it needs to allow the head to go through. You might want to make it two inches, three inches. It's really up to how big your child's head is. But you can see you want to get your child's head through and then their neckline will go in here. This is your pattern. Now all you got to do is lay this down on your fabric and you trace around and cut it out. Or you can just pin it down and cut it out. There you have it your basic template for your tunic. And remember, you just go to the website www.sophie-world.com, download whatever template for whatever character you want, cut out the pieces, and then glue them on accordingly. It's all pretty easy and straightforward. Let me give you a little show and tell of the ones that Frida created. So this one, my personal favorite, BB-8. I love BB-8. And then we've got Luke. And as you can see, he has a sash, so it ties tight. Everybody's favorite arch nemesis, Darth Vader. Now his is a little tiny bit different, and that's noted in the template pattern. And then, of course, what would Star Wars be without a stormtrooper? There you have, there's the stormtrooper. Now, on the website, you're going to find other ones as well. You'll find Han Solo. You're also going to find uh, Princess Amidala. Some of the major characters, we've got all their little costume pieces. And now I'm going to bid you a fair adieu. And because it is actually being filmed on Star Wars Day, may the 4th be with you.